Welcome back to Rosie's channel. It's not as good as mine. It's better. That's not the song. I, I invented the song in yeah. the kitchen and that is and not I the song. I just ad-libbed the song. It's not better. Group hug. Do the intro. It's not going to be as good as mine. Hi guys, welcome to... Mm. See, told you. Ah, it's not as good as mine. It's better. No, it's not. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a real talk. I have a special guest, my wife. She's it's really annoying. Good, it's, it's better. Today our real talk is going to be on, is social media fake? You think it's not that, fake, no. I think it's fake. Okay. But the reason we're having this discussion is because, several reasons. One, we watched the Black Mirror episode about the ratings, where it was kind of like Instagram and getting likes Bryce Dallas Howard, she's yeah. got a lot of teeth if you haven't seen it already. Um, she's pretty, the ginger girl who's- She's got a lot of teeth. We interviewed her dad once, name drop. But anyway- That um, was on my channel. Not as good as mine. It's better. So I was watching Black Mirror and I went on Twitter to tweet about it and someone replied to me saying, oh, don't you think it's really true to life though? Yeah, I do. And I was like, no, I don't think it's anything like life. And this person was like, really? I think it's exactly like life. I think it is. So there's a bit of a debate there. Debate. Obviously, people edit their shit. Like, I totally agree. But I do think that the majority, oh, and obviously things are staged and stuff, mm -hmm. like loads of stuff is, mm. but I also believe that there are so many people out there who are just the, their natural selves. So and do I, but I've become a cynic. Through YouTube, being naive, um, my cynicism has grown because the more I learn about things and people, the more I realize that it isn't real, and that upsets me. Yeah, but the thing is, this is what I can't work out, right? In, um, Black Mirror, mm. she takes a picture of all makeup, puts all her makeup on, and is like, oh, I woke up like this. Yeah. And she didn't, right? Yeah. But I took a picture where I woke up like that, yeah. right? And I thought, oh, I look good today, I'll take a picture. And then all everyone was like, you Photoshop this, this is Photoshop. Mm. People say loads of things I do is Photoshop. It's not. Mm. I feel like young people especially are really, really cynical, right? And I can't work out whether or not that's a good thing. Because I think a healthy amount of cynicism is healthy. So do I. I think that sometimes I've watched pranks and they upset me, like social experiments, and then I'm like, yeah, they're fake, which they normally are, aren't they? I don't know. I've seen, okay, how about this? I've seen a million zillion pranks, right? Where they have a, a push chair with like not a real baby and like a doll. Yeah. And people were like, there was a prank where this woman was like, can you watch my baby? I and need the to get to the toilet. Took it. And the guy took the baby. And I think, I don't believe that. I just don't. Like, what is the likelihood? I'm sure people people steal babies in real life that like they're a murderer, they're bad people. But what is the likelihood that you just happen to be filming a YouTube video and you happen to get a child stealer? There are pranks that are really negative like that. And I think, well, why did you do that? That's horrible. One thing that really annoys me is when, like, the Daily Mail take pictures of, say, Ella Henderson on a beach and then they compare it to her Instagram online. Mm. And I, I just think, why are you criticising her for finding the best angle, the best lighting, um, the best picture of herself that she thinks, you know what, I look great, I feel great in this photo, puts on her Instagram and they're like, it's not the truth! No one's going to take us. not that there's anything wrong with cellulite, no, I have cellulite. Everyone has cellulite. But no one's going to be like, Do you know what, I'm going to take the worst angle of myself and put it on Instagram. If she takes a photo and puts it on Instagram, mm. she's took that photo. That's yeah. what she's comfortable with. Yes. And she did not ask the paparazzi to come take a horrible photo and go, look, it's totally different. Like, who the fuck? Like, but, no but one would cope with that. that. that th but that shouldn't be a, a sh a, any shock. Like, yes, it is going to be different because no one's going to put the worst of themselves on their profile. Like, yeah. here I am, I hate this picture. Yeah. Everybody has photos or an angle that they don't like. Like, some people are like, oh, don't get my bum in this. Or some people are like, oh, you know, watch my seventh yes. toe. Yeah, some people don't like, smile with their teeth. Some so, people stand right. a certain way. So some people look a certain everybody way. Everybody has insecurities. And just because you're not like flashing them all over your Instagram doesn't mean that you're fake. It means yeah. that you might not like that about yourself, but someone will, you know, in real life. And it doesn't mean that you have something to worry about. Like, yeah, that's your insecurity. You should be insecure about it because not many people would agree with you that that, that would be something to hide. But the fact is they got to respect your decision. I'm yeah, right. yeah. Like, exactly. It sounds like you're agreeing with my opinion now, but it is a reflection of people, and that social media isn't that fake. That's I do. If, I do agree with you. But mm. where I draw the line is when people say they're doing something that they're not, like when they're just lying to try and get like hits or get views so or you, get likes. So, so for example, so like I said, if someone took a photo, they had all their makeup on, yeah. and they made it look amazing, and said, "Oh, I just woke up like this." Yeah, it's a bullshit. Lie. That's, you don't that's like just that. bullshit. Like, the, don't, like don't lie to your audience. Like. 
<laughs> why don't you just say feeling myself? Because what about the way that they obviously feel the need to do that? That's fucked up. Mm. One, one thing that really fucking annoys me, and because it's so language? obvious, if someone says hashtag no makeup selfie, mm. bitch, I know you're wearing makeup. Like, it how really do you know? Annoys. Because people just said that you photoshopped something which you didn't. Because so. like, uh, let's go for the tag now, right? It kills me the amount of girls with like full makeup on, like mascara. No, like false eyelashes and like everything on, and it's like, right? Let's have a look. Top post. Well, she's clearly got makeup on. Well, her eyebrows are her clearly, eye, her she, eyebrows Because she's turned. overdrawn her eyebrows, so I can see that it's drawn on. I just want to see how many people lie. Oh, that girl is naked. Scroll up again. Joke. Are you joking? She's no. got full on makeup. Is it a joke? No makeup selfie. She's She's got eyeshadow she's on. She's got eyeliner. She's got inner eyeliner. Are you joking? Yeah, so that's, that girl is wearing makeup. Yeah, you can't tell me that I don't know. I can say whatever I want. Like, that is full makeup. That's so stupid. I saw Khloe Kardashian and she photoshopped something and got caught out because all the tiles or whatever in the background of her bathroom were bendy. And then she was like, yeah, okay, I photoshopped it. Oh. But maybe people shouldn't call people out on it, even though I just did with that girl's makeup. Maybe it's just like, did. yeah, I just you did. just but, did that. But, but maybe it, we should think, instead of going, she's wearing makeup and she's hashtag no makeup, or she's um, photoshopped that photo, that's not really her. Maybe we should think, why do they feel the need to do that? Society. I think that in and this- And Beyonce did it. I know. Beyonce well. made herself slimmer on the steps. And it, she made, that upset me because, because there's so many impressionable girls and she like halved the size of her leg and it didn't even look natural. You don't have to look one way to be beautiful. And I do feel like the internet is realizing this a bit more and I feel like, more different shapes and sizes are being appreciated. Mm. You know we were talking about how we put a representation of our best self on Instagram. Mm. And in real life. And on Tinder and all these dating apps. I'd imagine, I've never used them, but and I imagine people that's what I would do. Yeah. What if I had all these like filtered, like not airbrushed, but edited pictures of myself on Instagram, we'd never met, and then we meet, and I don't really look like my social media profile. It depends how different you look. Different. Though. I mean... Would you say I was lying? I think I'd just... It depends on your personality, though, because I think I'd just be a bit surprised. Don't give me. It depends on your personality. No, no it does. I think I'd just yeah, be a bit yeah. surprised. Yeah, but well, I'm not talking about... You haven't got to know me yet. Looks only, superficial. What yeah, but I'm think? not like that. Yeah, what would you think? Would you be a little bit disappointed? And would you think, I think oh, I'd you be don't like, look like I, th I think I'd assume you had some kind of low self-esteem or something that you had to check, edit yourself to a point where you actually look different. Like sometimes I'll pick a filter that makes my hair a bit blonder because I like my blonde hair. Because there's that app where you can like increase your eyes, make your teeth whiter, you make your boobs maybe, bigger, make your boobs bigger yeah. have more contours. Like what is that telling the children of today? I can say whether people believe me or not, I don't know, because there are so many people that are not genuine on the internet. Mm. I can say that everything that we've done in our YouTube career journey, whatever you want to call it, mm. has been genuine. authentic and genuine. Yeah. I've never lied about anything. Um, I've probably overshared too much, whether that's attractive or a turn off. I, I don't overshare. know, but I'm not going to change. But there are some, like, I just assume because we'd always been like that, but everyone was always like that. And that's what people liked about YouTubers yeah. until I realized what you said. Pranks are fake. People are realizing YouTube's a way to, mo to make money and just want to put out clickbaity shit that yeah, any fake to so get people that to watch. click on. So it does put people like us and a lot of other YouTubers who are authentic in a really difficult position because we have to now compete with that fakery. Mm. We have to compete with that fakery in our titles and thumbnails just so people click on it to see something that's actually genuine yeah. and maybe something enjoyable and funny. And that's what's annoying because it puts people like us in a really hard position because I don't want to ever clickbait, mm. but. How can I attract people who are so like, yeah, that looks like a great video. It might be clickbait, it might be bullshit, but they still get the views. Yeah. And it does make it harder. Yeah. It does make it harder. That's what she said. I'd really like to prank you, right? But, and I'd like us to do little pranks a bit like, I really enjoy Joe and Casper's um, like pranks, mm -hmm. you know? And I'd really like to do that. But what I'd like to say is that if we ever did a prank, for example, I'm not going to do this, but say I did, cheated on my wife prank, right? I wouldn't do that more than one time. I don't know how, like it's so fake because if I did a, I cheated on your prank and then I'm like, oh, I didn't really cheat. It was a prank to get your reaction, right? Mm. 
If I did it again... First of all, I wouldn't believe you. You wouldn't... Yeah, I know you wouldn't believe me because I'm here 24-7. Second of all, seven. because we've never done pranks before and I, it's definitely something that I'm thinking of I've doing. I've always wanted to do it, but I've worried that people would think we, it's fake. No, or... we would never... I think I, I think our audience would know that it was real because yeah. we would never, ever be able to get away with no. doing a fake prank, ever. I wouldn't be able to feign a reaction to something. And I also wouldn't want to put that out there because not only does that make us hypocritical, but it also mm. makes us obviously fake. And I don't want to ever be accused yeah. of being that way. Yeah. It actually makes me feel sad that people contrive pranks because, and then people watch them and laugh. Mm. I'm like, it's not real. It's also like, insulting to a younger generation because yeah. I do believe that perhaps a slightly younger demographic are the main target audience for pranks. Mm. And I think that people who fake pranks know that and take advantage of it. Mm. Can I just say though, my sister, I mean, I don't know what people consider this old or young, she's 13, right? Mm. My, my sister was watching a TV show where uh, two people had an argument and she rang me up and she was like, you watching this, it's so fake. And I was really proud, she's yeah. 13, you know. And she calls out YouTubers yeah. as well. She's like, oh, they're yeah. not popular anymore in school because they're so fake and not themselves. You can tell my life. Yeah, she like, sees through it. And I think wow. uh, uh, we, <sighs> Do people who fake their videos respect their audience? Because I respect my audience to not lie. Mm. That's why, I, you know, I wouldn't lie. Well, so. I wouldn't lie to my friends and I wouldn't lie to my family. And I think that, I know it sounds fucking cheesy as shit, but you guys kind of are our friends and our family because we share everything with you. I think it's healthy to have a healthy dose of cynicism and to be aware that not all content is real because I don't want people to get low self-esteem, for example, seeing hot bodies and beautiful people, because you've got to understand, maybe she's born with it, maybe it's an Instagram filter. Like, there are ways to make yourself look slightly better online, both personality-wise, like lifestyle-wise, as well as looks, like Rose said, like, we can make our I'm house so look interesting. tidy. Oh my God, I'm so tidy and organized. Yeah. I'm so adventurous, oh my God, off the cuff. Basically, I just think that you've got to remember that everybody has bad days and good days. You might have a day where you take a selfie and you're feeling yourself and you think you look Heart and you look hard and you take a good picture. You might also have a day where you put your hair up like this, don't wash, you know, feel like shit, cry. Neat we though, everyone so. knows that to get a scruffy I woke up like this picture sometimes can take 350 goes. Can I say though that my one I woke up like this picture done? But I will also say that I had one of those Bet cameras. Fake, but no, lying. I had a camera that was like the camera on my phone was like my Google Pixel. It's just yeah. very flattering. Right. It was an Android phone, wasn't it? But um, I wanted. Sponsored. But don't assume that everybody isn't real, or everyone's fake, or everyone's lying to you. Because there are people who are, are totally genuine on the internet, and they're still genuine even if they pick nice mm. filters of themselves or flattering angles. That doesn't make you fake or a liar. That just makes you want to feel the best you. How about on the internet are the same people that are in real life? So in real life, you're gonna have honest, genuine people. You're gonna have people who are a bit fake, you're gonna have people who are really fake and two-faced, mm. and you're gonna get the same bunch of people on the internet because we're all just people. Say you're not having the best day and you look online and people are having an amazing body day. Everybody has bad days. Everybody has good days. People look good, people look bad, people feel good, people feel bad. Not okay. everything, not everything is as happy behind the lens mm. as you might think. Apart from our relationship, we're which We're really is, happy. We yeah. are like so happy. I am, I'm really happy. Bye!